Hi, this is Morley and this is The M-Wire with another La Palma update for December 12th, 2021. As in the last several days, the activity on La Palma has been considerably less. That doesn't necessarily mean that the eruption is over by any means. We would have to see a very continued stretch of time with little to no activity uh, such as we're experiencing now for this eruption to be over I would say I would say a couple of weeks folks um, we've seen this many times before when the volcano experiences a period of lesser activity and then out of nowhere just flares up again the earthquake activity has been fairly moderate maybe about 30 quakes or so in the last 24 hours a 3.9 most notably so there still is earthquake activity and whatnot on the island so don't think that it's completely gone away but what i'm watching for specifically is a larger deeper quake you know approximately in the four to five range or maybe even larger and if that happens i predict that then there will be even more lava flows and as the result of violent volcanic eruptions Speaking of lava flows, the lava flows on La Palma are still fairly consistent, and particularly in the La Jolla region, as we're going to see when we get into Volcano Discoveries update. But this volcano still remains active, just not quite as active as we're used to. But then again, folks, we've seen this before, this could flare up at any time. The eruption continues more or less in the same way as yesterday. Intermittent strombolian type explosions and sometimes stronger ash emissions occur at the main vents of the cone. Ash plumes have reached altitudes of 3,700 meters and drifted towards southerly and southeasterly directions. Lava effusion remains stable, concentrated from the vents near or beneath the cone where they enter tubes to break out as surface flows further downslope, mainly in the central part of the flow field, where lava is continued to initially travel through a narrow and widening channel before spreading into various arms. One of them is now covering the lava flows that has erupted from the fissure vents west of Montana Cagote. The latter have particularly ceased to be active. Active lava flows have continued to descend the steep cliff of the coastal flat of La Jolla, but without reaching the sea itself. Thick smoke was rising from the burning plantations in the area this morning, so unfortunately folks, yet even more crops are being destroyed. That's, that's been an ongoing saga with La Palma, and my heart certainly goes out to all the farmers who, who lost crops, that's for sure. An increase in sulfur dioxide, SO2 emissions, was reported today. Earthquakes have picked up a bit as well, especially in the deeper layer 30 to 40 kilometer depth. During the last 24 hours, there were 13 quakes of magnitude 3.0 and 3.6 and 27 quakes between 2.0 and 2.9. Volcanic tremor remains low at similar values as yesterday. No significant deformation has been recorded. So as you can see, folks, the volcano is still active with earthquakes, but they're starting to come back at greater depths. We'll see what happens with that. Like I say, if there is a larger earthquake at a greater depth, you can expect the volcano just to rev right back up again in terms of lava emission. But this is certainly something that needs to be watched for a while. By no means is this eruption over, quote unquote, um, if we see activity like this, you know, for weeks on end, I would say it might be coming to a close, but we're one earthquake away from it flaring back up again. I just wanted to give you this quick little La Palma update. We watch, we wait. Thank you so much and God bless.